Plugin developers. There's another speech uh, by uh, Thorsten Fromm later. He's a little bit more, I, I think, in depth. Um, it's my first speak in English, so I hope you will be patient with me. Um, let's start. Okay, I introduce myself. Uh, my name is Dennis Plötner. I was born in Berlin, but I live now in Italy. And uh, yeah, some years ago I began my journey with WordPress. And yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's uh, really the problem that uh, there's, there are a lot of people when they uh, go in produ production, they maybe they like that uh, that. That part is particularly thrilling if they uh, never tested code so far. So um, maybe after mine and uh, the talk from Thorsten, you will change that behavior. Uh, in computer programming, unit testing is a software testing method by which individual units of source code are tested to determine, determine whether they are fit to, uh, for use. Yeah, what does that mean? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that's uh, the um, excuse I hear very often. There's no time for that. And that's, really, that's not true. If you test, you will spare a lot of time. And uh, yeah. So um, from my experience, uh, it will cost you always more to check for errors uh, later than testing your code before shipping it. So um, for me, in my opinion, there are, I'm sure there are a lot of other point of views. But um, you can just test if the code uh, satisfies the um, permission you made, if you um, have a function with a parameter that is in string and you uh, make um, a permission that you uh, will return an array, then you can check that. That cannot be that uh, uh, problem. So the advantage, what will we get uh, if we start testing software? We can find problems very early. We can uh, also, when we have to make some refactoring in the code, we can, uh, sh we can be sure that the module will uh, work correctly after that. Um, it simplifies integration and depends a little bit uh, if, um, use a bottom-up testing style approach by um, testing then the parts of the uh, program first and then testing some of its parts. Integra integration testing can become much easier. So we have some kind of documentation that's, um, I think, very interesting. You can show with your uh, tests how uh, um, software works. Simply, it's simply that. And if you begin with testing, your design will change to design of, um, of the <coughs> software. Um, decisions you make when you write code, you will write code a little bit in another style. So we can sum up that. We can find problems early, can facilitate it facilitates changes, simplifies uh, integration. It's kind of documentation and it's another design. What do we need for that? We need just PHP unit installed and WP, uh, WP uh, command line interface. Then it's easy as uh, to call uh, a function from a uh, WP command line interface. It's a scaffold for uh, plugin tests. You can just create all the files, all the files you need with that command. And then you can 
test your software. It's a little bit more than just uh, installing that and uh, write a light of, uh, line of code. But um, it's not that difficult to have some good tests. After you install, um, or after the scaffold, um, the, WP uh, the WP command line interface creates also that um, test class for you. So you have a good starting point. And there's um, also that this asset true then uh, uh, in that file. So you can, after that, just, uh, I think that's the hard part, <laughs> just install the tests and um, the, uh, just install WordPress in a um, temporary directory. So you have here uh, also the access for, for root for the um, MySQL database. And the latest, um, for example, is um, the WordPress install. So that you can at the end just uh, type PHP unit and the test will run. Hopefully you see something like that. It's uh, from one of my uh, plugins. And at the end, there's the green line that is a good sign. If the tests um, will not pass, then you have the red line. That's not so cool. And that's the end of my speech. <laughs>